Hey guys, it's Memorizer92, and today I'm gonna cover what Throne Spire is, how you do, and what kind of rewards there are. Then let's get started. Throne Spire is a content where you can claim rewards just for once in the game if you beat the dungeon. You cannot do it on all your characters. If you clear it with any character, then that's just it. Most of rewards are roster bound and which means you can clear it with one character and send it to another character through the roster storage. And there are also few rewards that are tradable. There are rewards from floor 1 to floor 25. Well, there are more floors starting from 26, but these don't give you any rewards. When you clear a certain floor, uh, for instance, if you clear floor 10 then you can claim all the rewards from floor 1 to 10 at once so you do not need to do all the floors which means clearing the floor 25 is the best option if you can let's see what each floors give floor 1 gives 1500 of guardian stone crystal floor 2 200 honor leap stones floor 3 500 destruction stone crystal floor 4 15 large honor shard pouch floor 5 20 heroic selectional class engraving chests floor 6 900k silver floor 7 1k destruction stone crystal floor 8 3k guardian stone crystal floor 9 1 million silver floor 10 1k destruction stone crystal floor 11 3k guardian stone crystal floor 12 50 great honor leap stones floor 13 2 basic weldings floor 14 10 basic mendings and floor 15 3k guardian stone crystal floor 16 1k destruction stone crystal floor 17 20 large honor shard pouch floor 18 100 great honor leap stones floor 19 25 large honor shard pouch floor 20 2 applied weldings floor 21 10 applied mending floor 22 2 Legendary Selectional Battle Engraving Chests Floor 23 60 Great Honor Leap Stones Floor 24 1.2 Million Silver and Floor 25 30 Level 3 Random Gem Chests Well, Welding and Mendings uh, These one and these ones are tradable and for the rest, the chests are all roster bound, but when you open them, then they become character bound, except, except for the heroic selectional class engraving books and the legendary selectional battle engraving books. These become tradable when you select them. So these are the overall rewards. Okay, this time, let me tell you how this dungeon works. For every floor, this dungeon consists of 5 gates, and you have to clear all these gates before the time on the upper left ends. From gate 1 to gate 4, there are lots of mobs that you have to kill. When you kill a certain amount of mobs, the challenge mob comes out, and when you kill him, then that's when the next gate opens. This is same from gate 1 to gate 4. As you go to higher gate, the attack and tankiness of the mobs become stronger as well. And when you finally reach gate 5, that's when the boss fight starts. If you beat this boss, then that's a clear. There's no difficult gimmick or attacks that these mobs and boss do. But the problem is, if you are not powerful enough for the certain floor, then you will not make it in time. 
Also, even if you die, you don't have to worry because after a certain amount of seconds, uh, you will revive. But the thing is, uh, you should refrain from dying since this dungeon is a time attacking dungeon. You might be curious of the rough requirement for clearing floor 25. I've seen people who cleared it even with 6 Argos gear set with item level 1430. So I cannot average out the requirement, but if I give you my opinion to clear floor 25, I think your item level uh, should be around 1460, having 6 full relic gear set with at least 4 times level 3 engraving from here to here. And level 5 gems spammed is enough, but depending on the AoE skills that each of the classes have, you might have to use battle items as well, like uh, Arjo Fin and a Flame Grenade. If you are aiming for floor 22, uh, where you can get the legendary engravings, I recommend doing it with having some pieces of relic gears at item level 1445. Well guys, that's all for today. Hit the subscribe if you liked it and see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.